Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura and uh, today I'm going to start doing my 2K special. I hit 2K. Uh, there's 2,000 of you who said, hey, I want to watch this person again and that's pretty cool. So thanks so much for joining. Thanks so much for subscribing. Um, and in light of the fact that I've hit 2K, I have decided that what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my most requested video. So um, four years later, I'm finally getting around to it and you are going to see the entire collection. Um, it's not all going to happen in this video. I'm going to break it up into multiple parts, but you are going to see them in a pretty short order. I'm not going to make you wait very long to see all the videos. So um, there's going to be a single video for every single bookcase. Um, a little bit about my collection before we get into it. Um, I do have uh, around 7,000 volumes. I might have a little over, I might have a little under. I don't know the exact number. I don't keep track of that. I don't think it's really that important. Um, but it is sort of about how big my collection is and why it's going to take so long to go through this. Um, but this isn't a solely owned, like I don't own this by myself. I own it with my sister. She also shares this collection with me and we both share this hobby together. And we have since the very beginning. So we began collecting manga and reading manga actually in 2003. Um, and we've been collecting together ever since. And we've been collecting a lot ever since. But if you look at the span over a long period of time, that's 16 years. And between two people, that's literally 32 years which have created this collection. So I'm only actually adding about 250, 280 uh, manga to this collection every year, sort of on average. So, you know, when you're looking at, at big collections, I don't want you to think that, you know, you have to try and compete. This has taken us a long time to put together. And when you actually look at it, there it's not as um, curated as I would say some of the other people who are on YouTube. Um, our collection does have a lot of gaps in it, a lot of missing volumes, um, and you will be surprised, and I certainly was surprised when I started watching these to edit the videos, that there are a ton, a ton of, of series which have been dropped, which publishers either have been unable to to finish publishing because they themselves went out of business or they just stopped publishing because they weren't lucrative enough for them. So you're you're going to be surprised how many series actually um, I mention even, I don't even think I mention every single one, but how many series we're going to see in these videos that have just stopped publishing. So it's sort of an amazing thing um, and uh, I've, I've enjoyed actually sort of rewatching some of these. Um, so I just wanted to give sort of a little bit of context to the collection. Um, the way that we collect is that we buy when it's cheap, we buy what think we think might be interesting and we don't get rid of the volumes even if we hated reading them. So it's a very big mess. It sort of collects everything that uh, our experience of reading manga in a collection and it's uh, the way that we like to collect, we like to read a whole lot of different things and even titles that we hate, we like to read those again. So there's no reason for us to get rid of them. So, you know, depending on how you want to collect, you can collect however you want. Um, that's just the way that we've approached it um, and we enjoy doing it. It's, it's one of our favorite things to do. Um, so going forward, this is going to be about a dozen videos long because there are that many bookcases in in my house and my collection and um, I am going to split it up into around that many videos. I'm not exactly sure because I haven't quite separated them all out. I haven't quite edited everything so I think that's about what we're expecting um, and they're going to come up pretty quick here. I'm going to post them fairly frequently and um, a couple of things to note um, because of the way my collection is. I have tried filming this video many, many times um, and I've just found it incredibly difficult to get through and so what I ended up deciding to do um, was that I'm just going to give you the very loose experience of what it is like uh, using a large collection. So I'm not taking all the books off the shelves, I'm not holding them up one by one. You are literally getting my, I'm holding the camera um, and we are just going to slide all the books across and you can see them go past. Um, and this is how we use our collection. We have to move a few books from the front and we slide the books back and forth to see what's behind. Um, it's just the best way to do it. 
Another thing to note is that uh, my sister and I both have uh, TBR cards. My sister has been using hers for a lot longer than I have. And while you're watching these, you'll notice that there's a lot of uh, random volumes missing. I usually will tell you if the series is complete, but there wasn't, it wasn't a good idea. And I, it, it was really awkward for me to take all of her books, put them back on the shelf just so that you could see them. So um, I am going to I guess I'll put a little clip, or I probably have already put a little clip of the TBR cards and what's on them at the moment, but even what's on them at the moment is different than what was on them when I was filming. Um, and because the collection is so large, it did take me a little while to do these videos, so I have done them sort of over a period of days, um, and then I've gone back and refilmed certain bits. So there might be some inconsistency in it. It's just how it's going to have to be. It was. Um, it was fun to film, it's fun to watch over again, but it's a really difficult process and I just hope you can appreciate that. Um, but because of the way that it was filmed and stuff, if you are prone to motion sickness, this might not be the best video for you to watch, or at least sort of like watch it with caution because it is going to be kind of jumpy. I am trying to, you know, edit out the worst parts of it, but it is, you know, it's loose, it's rough, it's awkward. Um, but it's what our collection is and it's sort of a good re reflection of how we collect and how our collection sort of exists. Um, so uh, basically I'm going to go forward, I'm going to show you my collection now uh, piece by piece and first off we're going to start off with the kind of non-fiction section of the collection. So it's sort of like the random pieces and then we'll move into the bulk of the collection. So I hope you enjoy this. Um, I hope it's interesting to you and um, I hope you enjoy watching these videos over time and I will see you later. Thank you so much for joining. Thanks so much for subscribing and go forth and enjoy my manga. So what you see directly ahead of you, this is our loft. It's sort of the extra room. Um, so the door that's closest to you here that's the comic book room, laundry, my sister's room, and then the loft, um, and then another door to my sister's room for some reason. Um, so we have had to actually move books out here into the space. You can see there's still a lot of books. These were all uh, titles that just didn't fit on shelves. Uh, we brought two bookcases upstairs. We used to have these down in the basement, um, which we kept our anime on, which are now all in boxes. Um, and we had to bring them upstairs and we thought, Oh, well, this will give us tons of space. No, it didn't. All it did was get books off the floor and only for a very short period of time. So um, I will show you all of that in due course. Um, but this is basically what this room looks like. And uh, let's get up closer so you can see. So you can see coming around here, this is a loft space. It's just a little tiny room with a short wall. Um, we've got a number of kitchen chairs from my granny's kitchen table. Um, which we just keep up here because they're handy. Um, they're good to, you know, dry clothes on or sit on or put books on or whatever. Um, and that's about it. So first off here, we have this little bookcase. As you can see, it's not that big. Um, it's just tucked here under this half wall um, in our loft space. And it's directly across those bigger bookshelves, which you saw already. Um, and I will give you a closer up look look. Yeah, that's how you say that. Um, and uh, basically, this is where we keep our comic books as well as our nonfiction. So anything that's not manga goes here. Um, there's a couple of art books that didn't fit in the other room, which are here now. Um, um, but y as you can see, it's really not like there's not a lot of books here. Single, single, uh, deep. Um, they're just sort of like random things. There are more in this, these categories. They're a little bit scattered around the house. So I probably won't get a chance to show you because there's just one book here on this bookcase, one book in this room. Um, so it's not, they're not sort of collecting it together. This is most of it. Um, I think it gives you a pretty good taste of what we've got. Um, and uh, I guess I'll show you a little bit up close, just sort of uh, highlights. So you can see here, um, just a couple of books. It's really scattered. There's no order to this. Um, mostly kind of non-fiction things. Uh, some of which I haven't read yet, and some of course are my sister's as well, which I uh, am less likely to have read. Most of this is mine though. So a couple of highlights, let's see. 
I'm just gonna bring you closer. Um, we've got this book here. This one is Samurai from Outer Space um, by Antonio Levy. She actually signed this one um, from, there we go, 2008. Um, she came to uh, Calgary's festival, which is called Odafest, and I like to refer to as Odorfest. Uh, it's quite smelly. Uh, it's kind of, I think it's grown since I've been, it's been a while, but she did come and it was sort of like a sparsely attended event and no one knew who she was. It was a small room that she was talking in and I went up afterwards uh, to talk to her and I told her I was a fan of hers because I really love um, academia. I love following them um, and I think she was really, really embarrassed by that. Um, so yeah, so I have her autograph anyway. Uh, what else do we have over here? Um, I also have the, actually you, you'll probably notice that I have quite a few old library copies um, that I've uh, collected over time. This one I think might have an autograph of Natsuki Takaya in it, kind of looks like it. Um, they are here at the bottom, sorry. I was looking but not through the, the screen. Um, so I think that's her autograph. So. I thought that was kind of cool to be able to pick that up. It's still in okay shape. Ugh. Let's get that back in there. I have a couple of just like random books in Japanese. Little Genie, but I haven't tried reading it yet. Uh, this one is autographed. I don't know if this one's mine or my sister's. Oh, it's mine. Um, Laura Van Girls Forever by Sam Meg. Sorry, there you go. Um, we went to a talk and she was talking at um, uh, the Comic Expo that we have here in the city. It's actually a pretty big event. Um, if we look down here on the next shelf, ooh, if we can do that, let's see. Maybe I need to squat you further. I will get down here on my hands and knees, which is going to be hard on me. Too old to sit on the floor. This is not a very interesting view because everything has to of course get shelved uh, the other way because it doesn't fit. Um, this is actually a bookcase that my grandfather built. Um, I don't think he used a, a plan at all. It's a very wobbly, <laughs> oddly shaped bookcase, but it's the only thing I have from him. So, Like I said though, I do have some art books. Um, these ones were mostly picked up, I don't have very many, they're mostly picked up in Japan. This one's from Akihabara, uh, Takehiko Inoue. I do have another one which might be in the other room. I also have, oh of course, the Nausicaa art book, which I did also pick up in Japan. Uh, I don't know exactly where, but I definitely at a bookstore. I have, oops, OBs that kind of get in the way. Um, I have the Kazuo Ume's coloring book, which is kind of fantastic. And I'm tempted to color it, but it's the only one I have, because I gave the other one away. This, this is here. Oh, we do have uh, The Killing Joke. Thankfully, my sister has been trying to buy us a couple of comics. Uh, I think we probably are going to spend a little more money on not manga next year, so if you have recommendations of absolute must-reads, like The Killing Joke, sort of at that level, I would love your recommendations because we will definitely be keeping that in mind. Um, I also have a couple of uh, magazines. Here's a uh, Canada... Uh, Rocky Mountains, basically, in Japanese, a souvenir book. Oh, but I know what I can do with that, because I'm starting to pen pal. Um, I do have this old library copy of Popeye, but this is the Ed Seagar. Uh, I hope I'm pronouncing his name right. It's a huge book. It's an old, beat-up library copy. So happy to have it, because his comics are fantastic. Um, and out of print. I don't think you can buy the, the cigar comics anymore. Alright, coming over. 
What else do we have here? Um, the Tokyo Sampo is really cute. You should definitely check it out if you want. It's um, kind of more of a travel travel illustration. Just some of the sort of notes. Um, but the illustrations are really beautiful, as you can see. Sorry, it's kind of it's kind of close and awkward here. So um, this one is in French. I think it was originally in French, but you can buy it in English. Um, and there's a lot of pictures of um, police boxes, which is cute. We picked up, or actually, this is my book. Uh, this is a kids' picture book um, called Yotsuba to Shiro to Kuro no Dobutsu. So it's Yotsuba with black and white animals. We got this actually at the uh, Ueno Zoo. So it's really cute. It just has uh, kind of what it is. And then pictures of Yotsuba with the animal. So that was nice. Um, this is uh, my childhood favorite comic, Garfield Rounds Out. I did really like Gar Garfield Everything. Um, actually, this one might have been my sister's copy because some of it is colored and I did not color mine. So it might still be downstairs in a box. But it's the same title. I'd also really highly recommend, if you like Garfield at all, to check out this one. This one is Garfield minus Garfield. Um, and it's literally Garfield just erased from uh, panels. So it's really, really funny because Dave just looks like a total moron. It's funny. Um, Scott Pilgrim. We do also have Velvet, which I really liked. I think this was a great comic. The Vampire Hunter D first novel. This one actually is from our tour. We were supposed to meet, I think, uh, Kikuchi um, on our tour, but we missed the first day because our plane was frozen. Good old Canada winter weather. We still got the books though. What's this? I don't know what these are. These must be my sister's. Some Archie Digest comics, <laughs> which we probably bought on a plane. Um, some old library copies of Jason comics, which I really like Jason. Um, for the most part, some of his longer books I'm not a fan of, but some of these short ones are great. Uh, Mouse, of course. This one is kind of... Uh, I was really looking for something specific. Looks like this. Probably half the size. Picture stories from the Bible. It should be the full... Bible, not just the New Testament, so twice as long. Um, but it has this same kind of old school art. I'm looking for this thing. If you have any ideas how to pick it up, it should be from probably the 1940s. Um, this is just a really nostalgic title and I would love to uh, own it. All right, and then moving on to the end, uh, you can see a couple of more comics. Um, my sister and I were really into Twisted Toy Fair from uh, Wizard Magazine. Um, you could, or Toy Fair, Toy Fair Theater, I think. Toy Fair was the, the magazine. Um, I used to collect toys um, back in the early 2000s. It's something I gave up to collect manga kind of more permanently. But I was really big into collecting toys, particularly from the 80s, and um, also reselling on eBay. I made pretty good money doing that, but these uh, Toy Fair uh, magazines were really, really funny. Um, I haven't checked this one out yet. My sister picked it up because Samuel Trejo recommended it, so um, I will have to check it out. Um, and then this one is hilarious, if you're at all into Archie. Archie vs. the Predator. It is hilarious. So funny. Um, so I think that's pretty much it on this this shelf, but you can kind of see for yourself what's there. Now, unfortunately, the uh, the bottom is too hard to put on a tripod, so this is gonna be bouncy. And I apologize, you know, look away if you don't want to see. Although the point of this is to look, so let me scooch forward. <laughs> I'm genuinely too old to be sitting on the floor. My legs are falling asleep. You are welcome. I do this for you. Um, as you can see, this is bunny territory, so everything down here on this bottom shelf, um, apart from a couple, 
the bleach souls seems to have survived unscathed. Um, life and Death Go seems to be in okay shape. And the one I'm kind of the most annoyed about, because I put it down here on purpose, is this 100 Manga Artists, one of the worst books I've ever read about manga. Um, there's really nothing good about it, um, apart from the pictures. So I thought, hey buddy, do you want to tear paper apart? I put it down here for you. They're eating some of our light novels though. Fooly cooly. But we also don't care. I know you might, but we don't. So those ones are there, um, but that's really the only thing that they destroy and they need to have something in here to destroy um, to keep them from destroying other things. So um, relatively unscathed because they don't chew on the walls, they don't chew on the floor. Um, they're very good. They don't go to the bathroom on the carpet, which is amazing. This is the like most damage they do. I have one book I left on the stairs once that they tried to eat. Other than that, they're good girls. Then we have uh, my sister's drill bit, painted gold with a ribbon because why do we need a drill bit? I don't know. Don't ask me, but it's there. It's very heavy. It's useful as a bookend. Currently, it's just a decorative piece. Okay, scooching over. And then the last of it are a couple of uh, Japanese magazines, shoujo magazines. You should probably know what they look like. Multiple colors. Every chapter is a different color. Um, and they're just like single chapters of different ongoing series. So these are pretty random. I was picking them up looking for uh, Life So Happy, which is these two characters here on the cover. Um, and it still continues. There's a new volume out, so I will definitely be picking that up soon. Um, and then kind of the last thing, and maybe the most interesting thing on the shelf in my opinion, are two kind of comics anthologies. We have two copies of each and um, they're kind of homemade anthologies. They come from a local comic book store and they were made for the 24-hour comic book day so it's an event. Uh, it's held worldwide but the local store actually held the event as well. You could sign up and basically you would write a 24-page comic in 24 hours. Um, you would submit it to the contest and if you won, they would help you start your career. So I have 2006, which personally is my better of the two comics. Um, let's see if we can find it. It's also the better of the publications. But there's quite a lot of a variety of skills. Mine is not as good as most of these people, so try not to have your hopes up too high. I think I'm right near the front. I was asked to participate in this because I was uh, pretty good friends with the shop owner at the time. Uh, there's my sister's. She has a very unique style. 24 hours though. Uh, yes, and here is mine. It's wonderful. It's so, it's so vivid. It's so bad if you, yeah, you're actually not supposed to read it this direction, but yeah, quality, yep. So that's my surprisingly hard to write 24 pages, uh, particularly if you never draw. So yeah, anyway, that's that. Um, but the other one is my worser comic, which is, how can it be worse? But what's interesting about this one is that um, the winner from 2005, if you don't know, was a famous, uh, or is now a famous, comic book artist. Um, and that happens to be Fiona Staples. So my book, or my really ugly comic, which I think might be closer to the middle. Oh, here's Fiona Staples' one is in the same book as the winning comic for the year and now an Eisner Award winning illustrator. So that's kind of fun. Um, I haven't actually talked to her since then and it's been a long time so I don't know if she remembers me at all but uh, I was always kind of 
excited to see her name on books as they were coming out. Um, I think her most famous series, if you don't know, is Saga, which I think pretty much everybody and their mother has read. Maybe not their mother, because it's maybe not mother's approved. Oh, there's Jen's. Here's mine. Oh, let's go to the quality beginning. Oh, here we go. Didn't even make a cover page. Some really crappy story. But what's quality, and still I'm quite proud of, is a series of comic strips. So here, let's enjoy. This is a bad elephant. Yes, now you know what's going on in my ridiculous brain. Mm -hmm. Here's another good one. Yes, you are welcome. And then my closing page. So yes, that is fun. That is the fun that is this particular bookcase. And now I'm going to turn you around and show you the rest. And if you hear that, that was my rabbit. She's running. So there's part one. Uh, we're definitely going to have a short part um, or short break before we show you the next video, but it's going to come fairly quickly. You're not going to have to wait too long to see all of these videos. Um, and I hope you enjoyed that. Um, let me know if you have read any of these nonfiction titles or if there's any nonfiction that you would recommend. I would love to know um, because I'm always looking for some good nonfiction titles or even just graphic novels. I love other types of graphic novels besides manga. There's not very many in my collection, but definitely uh, love to read them. So give me any of your recommendations down below and I will see you in the next video, which I promise is not very long from now.